Okay, so welcome to a demonstration of the truly dreadful Taobao uh, $150 plus $40 shipping knockoff, um, which uh, I have, have here in uh, in Taiwan with me. And I'm just going to print one of the pieces from the Yoma 68 laptop, the Libra laptop. It is one of the screen hinges, as you can see here. Now I've been doing various uh, uh, speeds on this one, and the one I'm going for now is 200 millimeters a second. <laughs> Out of a $150 printer. Oh dear. Right. Now, uh, this one, uh, can you see just here, it is actually straight. I'm so sorry this is out of uh, not a very good camera. Um, but that is uh, uh, level, there is no bulging on that corner. Now, and here's one I prepared earlier. Um, on the end here, oh, I'm so sorry it's not clearly visible uh, with this camera. Right, uh, on the edge here, can you see that's flat? there but just on that corner it's bulging oh um, that's down to the extra speed and this parts okay that one's all right anyway well it's going now and we're doing the first layer uh, let's get some right underneath there yeah that's all right so um, what I've done is I've replaced this, uh, they come with a Mark II print bed PCB, um, I've replaced that with uh, a 3mm aluminium and I've put print bite on it instead of borosilicate glass. Uh, print bite is freaking awesome. Now the <laughs> acceleration parameters I've set on this, I'll just have to see how it goes. Um, it's 5,000 uh, millimeters per second squared on the X and Y and uh, 9,000 on the this is not a normal sound for a, for a cheap and cheerful 3D printer I don't know if you can actually hear me <laughs> if you get one of these printers normal sort of speeds it's like Boring as hell. Um, sedate. Let's have a look. Yeah, it seems to be doing all right. It's not skipping. It's noisy, but it's uh, horrible. You can see how close I've got the print head in um, uh, between the two rods I've replaced a vertical the vertical arrangement which I really can't stand I don't know why people do it um, for a horizontal one where I've made the print head so close in that I can't actually get the clips for borosilicate glass in because they hit the these uh, pieces of the carriage Um, I also re replaced the, if I designed this part to lift it up um, on, a, on a thing, I've also, around here, um, this is from a thing on I'm Thingiverse, but uh, you can see how it clamps the two bearings, um, a supports, support piece here to make sure that this, the flat bit that holds the rods doesn't bend about the vertical bit. Um, took two weeks to redesign this from its original. Yeah, it's halfway done already. And uh, try and get the torch in here. The bowing that we were getting on the on a slower acceleration isn't happening. Sorry, the the the, the, the banding stuff. I reckon that just switching off the acceleration enti oh, entirely but pushing it up quite this high um, solves most of the problems that we've had with um, bulging at the ends but it is freaking funny to see a $150 printer doing this kind of quality printing uh, 
yeah, whereas previously I had some bulging at that very thin piece on the end. The very thin piece on the end is only 0.7 millimeters wide and it's to capture the uh, the screen, it's the screen bezel. <laughs> Nominally, this is well, actually it should be 200 millimeters per, sec per second uh, uh, travel and print speed um, because uh, the acceleration is so, set so high. This is only with a, a Melzi, by the way, so it's only 1.3 amp uh, drive steppers, stepper drivers. Yeah, sorry. Shaking around. <laughs> it's doing all right. The frame, by the way, I put in a corner piece here. Um, that is a uh, just a standard um, wood bookshelf thing. It's a 50 by 50 triangle. Um, the frame is still visibly shaking wobbling backwards and forwards. Um, I could do something about that. What I plan to do is to create a surround like on the Mid Mendel 90 and have that come all the way around here and down there. Um, then box that in entirely. Um, have another surround here and another one there. But basically you'll create a box. Oh, and flip this, these parts to the back Change this from a L shape like this to a, a U, uh, just a U shape sort of thing. So that goes there as it did on the original parts that came from this Taobao clone. Um, then these, uh, th this box by going at the back, I can box it in top, back, side, side, and um, around there without interfering with the uh, thing. And that will completely rigidize, rigiditize the whole. Um, support mechanism for this. I, I don't even want. I don't want to do it while it's while it's missing. But if I do that, the whole thing rotates. Push it sideways. It moves sideways that way. Push it that way. It moves that way as well. Um, anyway, that is done. And this doesn't come off uh, until the bed is uh, properly properly dry. But let's have a look. At the top, mm, trying to get some light. That's not bad. There's been the bulging. There's not a lot of bulging on this corner here, uh, which is fantastic for 200 millimeters a second uh, print speed, not travel speed. Print speed. Um, there is uh, quite a lot of uh, 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 on this corner, on this uh, edge here, and round here. Um, the round part is pretty fantastic. Um, is it straight? Is it straight? Yeah, it looks pretty straight on this edge, unlike some of the other ones that I've done. Um, overall, I'm pretty deeply impressed. Yeah. So, uh, 200 millimeters a second on uh, something that's only um, 150 well for 200 dollars if you include the shipping that's starting to look like a really good deal i obviously have to do some more improvements and um, you know with um uh keeping this frame steady and might even be able to go to two um you know 250 um which would be fantastic but i'm, I'm reluctant to push it that fast um because uh you know these are only um i think they're only like 1.6 out 6 amp steppers um, and this is good you know, the print bed is quite a lot of weight and it's going to be um, uh, bouncing this around so but you can only try it see what happens um, and the whole justification for considering this is because one printer at 200 millimeters a second needs to run for three years to print all the parts for the Yomi 68 Libra laptop which is 150 150 uh, 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 backers 
uh, with 35 separate parts so it is an awful long time so if we can get it down 10 printers um, uh, 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 at this kind of speed it would only be four months of continuous eight hours a day printing so uh, it, you know the faster we can get it for the less money in other words your, your printing per dollar rate if you can get that up um, it's uh, that's that's basically the metric by which uh, the printers will either be selected or designed so thank you very much